lot of people say that Japan has some of the best commercials, with most of them being crazy or funny. I think that's true, but once you learn Japanese and understand what they're talking about, that kind of goes away. A lot of people also say Japan makes the best games. There's no denying that some of the best selling and most acclaimed titles come from Japan. Some even require that you learn Japanese just to play them. And then there's Japanese game commercials. Some are cute, some are funny, and some just get right to the point. You only have 30 seconds anyway, right? One campaign I noticed recently was for the Nintendo Switch. Since its goal is to promote a new piece of hardware with some new styles of play, they can't really go too overboard on the silliness. But I'll definitely say that the Japanese ads were much better than the ones in the West. To me, those had the feel of one of those flight instruction videos. The star of these ads in Japan is Yo Oizumi. If you live outside of Japan, then that name might not mean anything to you. But he's a pretty big star over here. It's kind of like when you see this, and you realize it's not just any old schmo they picked up off the street to be in the commercial. Yo, Oizumi, was born in Hokkaido. That's the northernmost of Japan's four main islands. And he got his start 20 years ago on a local TV show in Hokkaido called Suiyo Doudesho. In English, how do you like Wednesday? He's done a lot of commercials and other TV shows since then. But what really makes it weird to see this actor in a Nintendo commercial is that Yo Oizumi is also the voice of Professor Layton. So, at least in Japan. He's been the voice of Professor Layton for each game, the feature film, and even dressed in full costume to promote Professor Layton and the Diabolical Box in 2007. Though there are a lot of strange and funny commercials from Japan, for video games or otherwise, at least take comfort in knowing that in this case, Nintendo remembers game history and went with someone with deep ties to gaming, whether you knew it or not.